It's me, Tim the Newshound. Today we're talking how to make things fly. Oh, I'm so excited. More planes? Welcome to the Sourcework Academy School of Aerospace Engineering. These are equations, I'm sure oh. you know. And fun fact, they're unsolvable. In fact, yeah. they are so complicated, if you can prove a solution exists, you can win a million dollars. Okay, so if you're telling me that if I can't solve it, and let's say, for example, Einstein can't solve it, then I am as smart as Einstein. <laughs> in that right? way, yes. You would get as far in this as Einstein would. Lesson one. The these are called the Navier-Stokes equations. They're stinky. So they, as a proper thing, describe every fluid and how it works. Lesson two. Where do you put them? Here. We don't need them. Who wants fancy math anyway? Old-fashioned or bust. Here's how you properly build a plane. We have two examples here. First one, this guy, F4 Phantom. Big, heavy, 1960s. Weighed 28 tons. It was nicknamed the Flying Anvil, the Big Iron Sled. And when the Germans called it, they called it, they called it the Iron Pig. Moral of the story? Just had a bigger engine. That's the American <laughs> way of thinking, baby. In, in, yeah. the words, in the words of salt and pepper, but push it real good and you'll fly. Well, it wasn't also like this supposed to, like, the US didn't have like an interceptor for compared to the Russian Air Force. And like, they tried to dogfight with these things, which was like almost impossible. How oh, yeah. so, 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 <laughs> interesting enough, the story of this thing, this plane when it first came out was garbage. It had no guns, so it had these missiles, but the missiles had a hit percentage of seven. Seven what? Percent. The oh. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, L plus ratio plus you can't fly. <laughs> Do you even thrust, bro? <laughs> Our next plane, the F-15. Yes, this one's a little special. This is the best aircraft ever. Let's play a game. Can you tell what's wrong with this picture? I could tell you what's right about it. The fact that it's still flying. <laughs> <laughs> it has them chemtrails in the sky. Those aren't yeah, real. Those damn chemtrails. Yeah, that's, that's what. It's, it's missing a wing. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> Man. Did this plane A. Crash and burn spectacularly? B. Start spinning and fly like a helicopter? C. Regrow the wing and keep flying? <laughs> or D. Ignite the afterburners and land safely. Probably. I'm gonna, the, I'm gonna let the rest guess. <laughs> it uh, it landed safely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If you said D, why? What's wrong with you? But well, you're correct. This is the plane coming to land, and then here is it on the ground. <laughs> yeah, this picture was not cropped. That <laughs> it really did not have a wing. <laughs> yes, it was just missing one. But how? How did it do it? So. Typically, a plane, the plane will weigh 45,000 pounds, and its engines produce 47,500 pounds of thrust. Clearly, that's bigger. So actually, when, when it landed, the, the, the company that made the plane, uh, what, they, they sent out guys to like, examine it and fix it. And they said, yeah, because it has so much power, if you go fast enough, it flies like a rocket. Correct me if I'm wrong, didn't they like, do a, t like, a world record test where they stripped it all of its paint and everything? It just like shot it upwards as far as it yeah, could go. They did. So they, <laughs> they did a special test with one that like they removed literally everything, like no paint, no nothing. And Krusty's right. They, they literally gave it the minimum fuel, said, okay, use your engines as much as you want, like melt them for all I care. Just go as high as you can, as fast as you can. Wait, they had a pilot in it? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, the Gs. <laughs> You need to understand, like, t test pilots live to do things like this. That's all they want to do in life. In fact, it was so good at flying like that, it's been used to shoot down satellites while oh they're in space. Lord. <laughs> I want to see footage of that. That sounds insane. They, they don't uh, have wait. footage because it's so classified, but they do have a picture. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you. Yeah, you. This Friday, December 22nd at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, we will be live. This will be a recording session for new episodes of Sir Swag Academy. As such, I expect every subscriber to be in attendance. We will be announcing some very interesting things, and it'd be shameful if only one person showed up to take notes for the rest of the class. With nice. planes covered, we move on to rockets. Specifically, this one. Everyone's favorite. It went to the moon. Good old Saturn V. This is one of its engines. It's uh, 18 and a half feet tall and 12 feet wide. Also, it's very powerful. Here's another quiz for you and for the audience members. How many horsepower? 
do you think? Uh, so a horsepower is one actual horse, right? Yeah. Uh, four, four-headed shit? mongrel says 15 trillion. Uh, <laughs> X Shadow says over 1 billion. Oh, God, we're getting a lot of answers Wal- here. Walsey says 10,000. Butler says 50,000. Manuel says 30,000. The answer? 55,000. Oh, oh but- shit. Butler was real close. Dang. Yeah. Right. Damn. Yeah. But it needs every single one of those horsepowers because of what the engine takes. Each of the engines burns two and a half tons of fuel per second. Like what? Like more than your way more than your car in five seconds. These in fuel? are these are one of those one of those moments where like you know in a FromSoft game where you enter an area that's like scaled to to the size of giants. So, like talking about space and space travel and rockets and their amount of power, it just feels like I'm so small. I'm so mm-hmm. insignificant mm-hmm. compared to the amount of energy and mass these things can move. There's an upgraded version that's meant to replace the boosters, the solid rocket boosters. And those are the most current version. They have 1.8 million pounds of thrust each. That would make it the most powerful liquid fueled engine in the world. I was watching this te- the first test launch of this rocket and it lit up the sky like it was a second sun. Like it was at night and it just like <laughs> it, made the- it made night into day essentially. And finally, the Aerojet AJ-260. It was tested in Florida. They only ever tested three of them, but I think you might realize why. Apparently, one of the reasons they stopped was they got complaints from... So Miami was, I think, like 37 miles away, something like that. Oh, they my They got God. complaints from people saying it was too bright. <laughs> this is a, uh, a colorized photo of the test. I've heard so many people say 24 hours just isn't enough time in the day. Who needs yeah. daylight savings time if you just add daylight time? Daylight savings yeah. time? Daylight spending time. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us today. Um, your quiz is in 10 days. Oh, no. yeah. oh God. <laughs> Great. Thank All you, right. Tim. Good. Thank you, Tim. Thank you very Applause much. For Tim. Woo. Woo. Always yeah. Woo. That was very that good. Was absolutely insane aerospace engineering. What if it's me looking down on me? The world above must also 